This is a catastrophic failure at 2,000 miles. Hello YouTube and welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. The channel for everything Honda Goldwing. Motor vlogs, DIY tips, tricks, hacks, and of course those accessory installation videos. Thanks again for joining us. And if you are a passionate Goldwing enthusiast or if you just enjoy watching someone who is, I'd appreciate it if you click on that little subscribe button down below. If you click on the bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. On my last Moto Vlog, we, uh, I told you my GoPro Hero 7 Black had completely died, but when I got home, I put a different battery in it and charged it up and it seems to be working fine. So I don't know if my other battery just got completely discharged somehow. Maybe I turned the camera on without knowing it. Because uh, I put the, the battery back in and charged it and it seems to be working. So in fact that's the one I'm using right now. So perhaps it was a screw up on my part. What are the odds? But anyway today I want to talk to you about something that happened to a friend of mine. I say a friend. This is somebody I've met through Facebook. Uh, actually, he's a friend of uh, Chris Caliente's. And uh, his name is Wavy Stark. Some of you may know who I'm talking about. And he has a 2018 Goldwing. And... He reached out to me early on about a vibration issue that he was having, noticing a lot of vibration in the handlebars. This was back when his bike was brand new. And I told him that on my bike, it's not uncommon to get a little vibration, you know, up around maybe 60 miles an hour or something like that. But he made it sound, it sounded to me like his vibration issue was worse than mine. So, and he, he had a previous generation Goldwing, so he's familiar with how Goldwings are supposed to feel, how they're supposed to ride. But the other day, he posted a video on Facebook, and where you can hear the, and I'll play it for you here in just a second, the audio, you can hear a pretty noticeable clicking sound on the right side of his engine. 2018 Goldwing. 2,309 miles. And this obviously is very disturbing. He even removed uh, his spark plugs on the right side of the engine. You could see one of them was severely damaged. As it turns out, uh, he ended up, uh, he with Chris Caliente's help in the trailer, ended up taking his bike to the Honda dealer. And they determined that, and I'm paraphrasing, I may not be completely accurate about this, but basically one of the valves uh, the, either the shim broke or came loose or the valve came loose and basically smacked into the spark plug. I, I'm just guessing it's in a like stuck open position. And that was the cause of the sound. And I wonder now if it might not be the cause of some of that vibration that he was having. He's only got 2,000 miles on his Goldwing. It's brand new. But that's not the... I mean, that's frustrating enough to have something like that happen. The frustration comes in with how Honda is dealing with this. Now, let me give you a different perspective, a different story from a friend of mine who I just finished having coffee with, Don Smith. 
he bought a 2018 Goldwing and it only had like a thousand miles on it when he bought it so he got a good deal on it because the guy that had originally bought it decided he didn't like the smaller Goldwing wanted to go back to the previous generation so he traded it back in well Don found this 2018 got a really good deal on it and it was white like mine at a dealer here in Dallas well after just I think he only had a total of 1800 miles on his bike his DCT transmission started to crap out and it was making a lot of racket and it would basically end up killing the bike at an intersection and it was a hard problem to reproduce the dealer couldn't fix it couldn't figure out what the problem was Honda couldn't figure out what the problem was was now his dealer did something correct they offered him a full refund of his motorcycle toward the purchase of another Goldwing so even though he had to pay pretty much full retail for the new Goldwing his his red 2018 they at least stepped up and agreed I think they kept the bike for a couple of weeks and tried to fix it and they couldn't figure out how to do it so they went ahead and just offered him basically offered him a full refund and that's how he ended up with his red 2018, which has been flawless. He hasn't had any problems with it. Now, that's what the dealer and Honda should have done with Wavy. They should have given him a new bike. This is a catastrophic failure. Honda is known for building quality engines, if nothing else. You know, you can fault Honda for their trunk, you can fault them for their saddlebags. You can fault them for how the plastics fit together. You can fault for their paint. You can fault Honda for a lot of things. But usually, the one thing you can depend on Honda for is the engine. The engines are usually bulletproof. They just don't fail. So for an engine to fail, this is a catastrophic failure at 2,000 miles. Honda and or the dealer should have sucked it up and given Wavy a full refund towards the purchase of another bike. Because now they don't know how long that bike's going to be in service. They've got to tear the, take the engine out, tear it all down. If there's damage, what if there's damage to the cylinders or to the heads? The bike could be, he's going to lose the whole riding season because of this. No excuse. There's absolutely no excuse. For something like this now if the bike had 20,000 miles on it you could or even or 40 or 50,000 miles I could see this but this is a brand new motorcycle he wants to ride we're in the middle of riding season there's just you know I just am disappointed that Honda and or the dealer and I don't know that which dealer it is and I'm not gonna I wouldn't use their name anyway but there's a somewhere there's a division or a district representative for Honda and by God that guy should step up and step into this situation and do the right thing for this customer this is a Goldwing customer this is a guy that has had previous generation Goldwings he is a Honda fanatic so there's no excuse I would be extremely upset and I know that a lot of you that watch my motor vlogs and you watch this channel, you don't already own a Goldwing, or you're considering buying a new 2018 or 2019 Goldwing. And I'm telling you that the jury is out on this situation right now. And I don't think Wavy is the only one that this has happened to. I think he has heard from other people that have had this similar situation with their engine so I will keep you updated on how this turns out but right now knowing what I know now if I were to buy a brand new 2019 or 2020 Goldwing I wouldn't do it unless the dealer signed something saying that should a catastrophic failure like this occur they're going to give me a new bike or they're going to at least give me a loaner or something to ride. My motorcycle is my primary form of transportation. So if I'm without a motorcycle for two weeks or three weeks or four weeks, I've got to go rent a car. 
Now, I don't know what Wavy's situation is. He may have other motorcycles or other vehicles he can drive. But my Goldwing is my vehicle. And, you know, they should at least loan Wavy another motorcycle, another Goldwing, to ride while his bike is in surgery. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. Um, I think it's a concern. I'll keep you up to date on what the problem turns out to be and how they end up solving the problem. But I'm personally asking Honda to step up on this. Because there's no excuse for somebody to buy a twenty five to thirty thousand dollar motorcycle in just a few weeks with only a couple thousand miles on it, the engine completely fail like this. Or they could have sent him a new engine. Anything. Anyway, that's it. That's all I'm going to say for now. I'll keep you updated on it as time goes by. I'm pulling into my neighborhood right now. And just a quick reminder, I'm not going to dwell on it, but a quick reminder is we're in the last days, the final days of our August promotion on the 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing maintenance videos. So check them out. Get them now while this deal lasts because it's getting ready to end pretty quick. And uh, making my final preparations to head to Wingding. And we'll be doing that soon. I hope you enjoyed this motor vlog. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate not only subscribing, but giving me the thumbs up. Put your comments down below what you think of Wavy's situation and what you think of that. Uh, this motor vlog and what we're talking about today and what you think Honda should do or the dealer should do And one last time I want to thank you for joining me today on cruise man's motor vlog